Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 49, second round match between Elliot and his vampires and Raxor and his Dark Elves. In the booth with me are Dimmy G and Squirrel Dude. Hello! Hello! Hello. <laughs> yeah. So Elliot's going for the Surf probably here, right? That's why he's got all the setup on the right side. Gonna do some Hypnos and get the Strength 4 off the field. Yes, it, it is. it does take a couple of cases, doesn't it? Um... Did well, Lil not dodge us anyway? Which he probably want to because of reroll because loner, but yeah, he's if you if you does. saw um Eliod's last game, he he did set up to do a similar thing to uh uh Kruppi, but didn't get the gazes that he wanted. So yeah, he may well go for this, and mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't blame him for doing it. Yeah, I think he will. I mean, you you might as well. It's pretty like yeah, he's got sidestep, so he he does this one, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, and then Ooh, oh, he comes yeah. in and does that one, and then you go in and surf him. Also, if it fails, like what happens? Oh, he gets to hit a claw. He's hit the guard guy with claw, right? So that's that's a fine consolation if you don't get it. Yep. So it, there's a big difference in the team value. Elliot has a wizard, a bribe, uh, crazy ego who is just basically a thick skull thrall with plus AV. He's pretty rubbish, uh, and Wilhelm Cheney, who is of course amazing. Um. And he's good. He's um, he's good. He's very good, isn't he? He's a strength four. He's very good, yeah. But he's 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 got his issues. Well, there we go. Um, <laughs> and and then obviously his vampire is completely amazing. Strength five, edge five, blood step. Oh, he's he's bloodlusted. That's a weird square to do that case from. Yeah, I'm not understanding oh. anything. No. Like he wants I guess to... Oh, he wants to gaze him and then surf him. That's what he wants yeah. to do. Ah, uh... uh, yeah, yeah, and then he's got this assist as well. Yeah. Oh, he rolled a one. Yeah. Okay, that's obviously the way to do, it, isn't it? I was gonna say, I was gonna gaze this one, so you've got like you know the strength five going there. But I guess yeah, gazing him and then going in that way is easier, isn't it? And then you've got the assist as well. Yeah. So less, less man commitment over, less of barreling down this side. But the ball's pretty exposed, isn't it? Right now, that's a bit. He can in. just get it whenever he wants, but mm, this yeah. Is, like this was a bit of a thing. Did Thick Skull save it? No. Um, and yeah, so and then Raxo has got three strength up elves and an edge up elf, and not that much more to be fair. It's like it's pretty much mostly stats. He's got some rodge and some blodge and some tackle, but it's mostly in stats, <laughs> which is pretty good. Uh, you, you know, I'm sure he's pretty happy to have. <laughs> but he hasn't got any sidestep at all, has he? Uh, no, one sidestep. He's also carrying some bench, so attrition is not going to be a way for Eliot to get some dice into this mm. either. Yeah, like, there's pretty light ball protection. I definitely think he's going to be inviting pressure on himself the next turn from the yeah. elves. And didn't get his two plus surf. Uh, it's very sad. It will be a bit sad for him, to be honest. Yeah, like, I mean, it's really sad. Yeah, I mean that was a straight four that would have just been surfed, almost guaranteed. Mm -hmm. I guess now he's deciding where he wants to blitz. Oh boy. Yeah. I guess the ball goes here and bites him. Oh, he can't even get there. Maybe you don't blitz at all, in fact. Maybe not now. Probably, bl mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably blitz and get Chaney to where he needs to be afterwards. Can he? But, eh, Frenzy's kind of troublesome for that, I guess. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you didn't have Frenzy, you could just blitz this guy. Yeah. Um, or this guy. But with Frenzy, you can't really blitz either of them. Well, you don't, mm. oh, he just went for it anyway! <laughs> he's went for the four plus surf. Uh, fair enough. He's yeah. a banger. He's a banger. He's a greedy banger, isn't he, Elliot? He is. <laughs> it's probably the right play. If you once you get the four plus, it's all easy. Yeah. Well, and I you mean, can get back on pushes and on pals, you can just run your wolf back. Yeah. I mean, you can't really leave the. You don't really leave the. It's it's very risky. You don't want to leave the vampire. Just like here's a two plot. Here's a two DB to. Get past my team. Lamp is the biggest question on my lips right now. 
Yeah, that's what he's going to be thinking, isn't it? M probably not. He's probably too far away, right? Because he'd have to blitz him. That gets one through. Then he can get in, and then and no, he, no, can, he do can do it. He can do it. Yeah, all he's got. He's, you know, he also has. Um, he has the leap guy who can fill in the back score if he really has to, too. Yeah, so like, he's literally got to do it. He's he's actually literally has to go for it. He actually yeah. has to go for the surf because, and I'm sorry, Elliot had to go for the four plus, so dodge because yeah. otherwise he gets surfed. Oh no, he hasn't got the assist from him though, has he? Oh, that's interesting then. He hasn't got the assist from this guy, so it is actually three GFIs to get the surf. So it's. Uh, I guess I was thinking you would do a three plus dodge with the uh, wrestle. You'd do a two plus dodge with the guard to be next to the strength four guy. Then you would you you could use a leap to fill in the bottom corner. Then you could use like the blodge or the raj guy to do the blitz. Mm. But that's maybe a bit. Yeah, I think you're actually you might still be safe on the counter surf. I'm not sure. You might have to foul Cheney or something at the end, but that was maybe too much of a commitment. I think he's gonna go for it. I think you have to, right? Like, look at this guy. <laughs> yeah. Look at this guy. You have to go. There's no. There's no option. You have to. It doesn't matter how many men it takes. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much it sacrifices your defense. If you can serve this guy, you have to do it. I think. I think if you're going for it, I'd also like to base up a couple more thralls with players, just so that Eliot has fewer reactive players next turn to, like, punish it. We didn't, uh... And, and because you've got, like, a blood strength or a blood sidestep player, alright. He's not... I hate really commit to hitting it. I hate that. Yeah. Yeah, it's 86% of Eliot's team, yeah. He can still do it, though, right? He's oh, got yeah, the yeah, he's got this, the edge 5 just, just comes around, doesn't he? Well, then yeah. he gets served, so he doesn't. So this guy, so the edge five goes there. This guy does doesn't have to GFI, and this guy makes the dodge. Oh, so he GFIs with him, yeah. So the 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 edge five isn't exposed, and then the edge five can actually blitz, right? Really. Three. Yeah, the edge five can blitz to protect himself. Huh. So he's not that. so he's not exposed, isn't it? Right? He, he just wants a yeah. shit head sir. So. It's just interesting he did a 3 plus dodge, I guess, because he didn't want to commit a reroll to it. Because he could have gone through tackle, I thought, for a 2 plus dodge through. If he didn't see the pitch right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, he could have done, yeah. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Yeah, that was maybe a bit creepy. Oh, well. I don't. I don't know if I like moving. Didn't I don't know him. if I like moving that strength 4 guy from where he was. I do. Maybe he gets served. Safer. He gets served. What is it? So minus two into well, there's things minus to two. do first. There's things to do first. Yeah. It definitely gets surfed. <laughs> I liked it all. Yeah, yeah. You got to go for it. Like that. That player is the game right there. Like that is the game. And okay, like yeah. you know, it, it ended up only KOing him. But it still makes this drive harder for Elliot. Like unless Elliot tries to quick score, which isn't that easy because he's just lost his best player anyway. And then so now you know, there's, like Elliot still wants to probably wants to, probably can't store out to late against Els. So it's no. tricky, isn't it? PC, the elf expert, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, PC. PC with the bold and elf experience take that you get rid of a strength 5 blodge stepper <laughs> with hypno gaze. Yeah. yeah, I would pay any cost to stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And he doesn't even pay anything, right? Because now he doesn't even get counter surfed at all. He does give up the space up the middle, which PC would love to take. His movement four elves always like to take any space they can get. <laughs> I guess you can kind of get a cage here, but you're going to get super pressure the next turn. Yeah. I mean, not anything real, Johnny Five. Any, anything in a game of Blood Bowl. Obviously, not real things. <laughs> I'm not mental. <laughs> I wouldn't give a shit about a game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> In the context of a Blood Bowl game, yes. I'm gonna have to reroll the Blood Bowl fail here too if it happens. I think. I don't really see where the ball goes and stands. I think, I, mean, I think he has to. Yeah. Oh, well, we're gonna yeah. find out. I think he might. Oh, wow, he did reroll oh it. God. Oh my god. Yeah, I think he had to. So th maybe this wrestler is the one that you're buying? Yeah, I think you have to eat the bottom left, yeah. 
You could put the ball on strength four dodge. I'm not even sure you had to reroll it honestly, because like, what's he gonna do? He's got he's got one rackler, and your strength four with blood. So there's not there's not you have got a lot to get you down even if you do. Just you know, space cadet. The kill might be even better for him because it means he can put that guy in that square, right? Instead of somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's moved to a different one anyway. There you go. I move. guess for not making it so it has to be minus two or at least, no more than a 1D, I guess, with strength four. So. It was hard to get around there, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Funny, though. That's funny that, like, he could have gone there if he'd wanted. The ninja mine cage. Yeah, I mean, the strength, strength four blodge. Is a ninja mind cage by himself, isn't it? Basically. A blacklist dodge! I mean, I'm no Blood Bowl expert, but I expect these two turns are not the way Elliot would see it at the start of this game. No, it's, it's sad, isn't it? And on a 2+, plus, he surfs that strength 4, and he's all Gucci, isn't he? Like, it's so it's so brutal. That was a 2+. plus. Maybe he should have re-rolled it, like, you know, honestly. Maybe yeah, that gaze, he should have re-rolled it. He's probably thinking that. He's he probably, probably is, that. yeah. He's probably going, shit up, Blood Bowl. <laughs> I don't deserve to win this. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think a situation where your best player is off the field and your two star players are dead are uh, on and not doing anything is really where you want to be. Though you still have a wizard, he still has a yeah, 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 he's in range, isn't he? He's in range. So yeah, punch it in. Get try and get your players back. Have the wizard on defense. Yeah, and get Cheney, and hopefully you get the strength five back. And if you're and if the uh, dark elves choose to kind of slow ball, you have a bribe to just. Take some free turn, try and get some free hits and some free armor rolls. The thirty player. Oh man, I've missed I've missed loads of posts in SFL. Always sad. There's always they're always great posts in SFL, aren't they? Discord. It's the best thing about there. SFL, even though even though Dimmy was insulting it and saying it was. It was bad, weren't you, Dimmy? Well, not bad, but you were like saying it was shocking or something. What, what was your thing about SFL Discord? He just realised that all of us were monsters. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're all complete Neanderthals, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I don't know, I feel like J5's domestic issues are infinite, or in, incredibly relatable to every person in the 21st century. <laughs> Jeff is incredible. <laughs> Jeff Five really could have a sitcom devoted to him. Oh, hey, what? Please the shrimp four, and then just do the two pluses for Yeah. Oh, that makes it difficult. One do the guard. One do the strength four. There are a couple of normal people in there. Are there really? <laughs> Who? <laughs> oh, I guess Dimmy. <laughs> Coming from Dimmy, that is an insult. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Denny Cray. <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> Oh my god, I need to go to a tabletop tournament and just say Jimmy Fantastic like Denny Crane. <laughs> oh my god. These are some thirsty vampires. Yeah. Yeah, this is fuck. Oh my god. It's the that leader that. too, so like, that actually is the worst possible. Yeah, yeah. Yep, this is pretty fucked. Can't really go it's anywhere like, to buy he... anyone else. Or gaze anyone. He can't re-roll because he needs to re-roll for future 1Ds, but if he doesn't re-roll it, he doesn't get any more 1Ds, and I don't know how this vampire is. No, he's not re-rolled it. Yeah, he's not re-rolled it. No, he it, it just dodges, I guess. Through, like, what three, is it? Three, three four, four, two. Four, two, yeah. 
Because he can't blitz because he needs all his movements. Like, he can't risk blitzing the witch elf, can he? Because he could he one be the witch elf and then blitz it up, but then no, then she could go to there. Yeah. But then it'd still be a four two. Maybe maybe, maybe well, no, he can't one D the witch though, can he? Not a blockless one D. You could one D him. If it was him. wrestle, you obviously. I think if it's wrestle, you absolutely do the one D because you can still because then you can blitz. So he gives us. Yeah, if it was wrestle, yeah, wrestle you could. Oh. One D. So maybe you, maybe one D blitz the strength four here. And then it's a three, three, three to no, that's a bit shit. Maybe just go for the three, four. Three, four, two. Three, four, two, yeah. Horrible. Horrible. Someone walks up the ask if you cheeky Jimmy from Day oh, no, That's the I thing, you see, if I only say, if I just say Jimmy Until Fantastic I'm all the time, victorious. people will know. People will know that I'm not cheeky Jimmy. I will defend. <laughs> Get your rack out, babe. Thank you very much, Fault for staying fantastic for 36 glorious months. That is three years, isn't it? Or more commonly known as nine beaver pregnancies. Thank it's the way know. I keep track time. Yep. I mean, there's no point blitzing through the arch five because once you get there, it's a two, isn't it? And then you can't, uh, you can't, you can't fail. Uh, that doesn't make any sense to blitz. Oh no, it does. Never mind. Needed the push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes loads of sense when you double power, Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was already a two there, but no, it was it was a three and a two, so it wasn't it. It was a four three two. So okay. So yeah, it saved a three two. I was thinking like a two plus is just better than a, than a two D because you know you might get the one nine, but then it's not mm -hmm. as if you've got the team reroll, haven't you? So no. Yeah. And obviously he's doing them one at a time, so we can evaluate, you know, if he's used the dodge ruler or not. Yeah. And then change based on that. Yeah, no, right. Obviously, I mean, obviously Elios can do the right plays. Yeah. Silly to think that he wouldn't have done. Just keep forgetting to cancel the subscribe. Oh, well, thank you, Fault Force. <laughs> so, yeah, that's brilliant. He gets his, he gets his big boy back. So not that bad at all from from Elliot now. Like it was it was horrendous, but all of a sudden he scored in three, which is like fine, really. Only used mm -hmm. one reroll, which is also fine. So yeah, I, he'd have taken that at the start of the at the start of the half, I'm sure, because you just you basically can't stall out drives as vampires, unfortunately. He made like yeah, no, actually, I think I guess it doesn't really matter when you score. If you're going to score really with vampires, anytime's fine. And looking at that situation, he gets Cheney back now too, so he actually has a star player that he made all the SPP actually can play in the strive again. Yep. Only 79 Mordred, but um, I guess he would have pro if he was legend or tackle, wouldn't he? Tackle or pro, one either of those two. Yeah. I'm not sure which. Maybe on him you go pro since you already have tackle, and it lets him reroll a bunch of stuff so you can use him more often. Yeah, because he's going to be doing everything for you anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But then also think, because like he can he can do the two pluses to get the other vamps to hit the ball and stuff, can't he? Mm -hmm. And so, so yeah, maybe maybe pro. Yeah, maybe pro. Get plus strength. I mean, plus movement would be pretty good. Yeah. And plus strength would also be good. The bog was just. Uh, I think De Bog was move seven, strength six, arch five, and just blodge, <laughs> which is a, which was the best the best player ever on fumble. Like about a thousand SPPs or something. No, oh, I think he got more than that actually. What probably way more because he, he he used um he used potions on him to uh, hmm. heal. Him. Calls went for a very strong anti blitz setup. It kind of looks like they were playing defense, even. Yeah, yeah. Love to see it. Love to see yeah. this. Daka strats, isn't it? Like, you know, I mean, okay, he's not doing a Daka, but this is like kind of like the how you set up to do a Daka because it's all you need to care about, isn't it? You don't need the LS, yeah. and obviously with with with, with strength four players, <laughs> you don't need to commit to the LS to get the hits. Mm -hmm. 
Now, De Burke had 2,031 SPPs. 649 games. It's pretty good, isn't it? Not bad, Jim. Yep. Yeah. Thing with the random tangents, is Igor like the worst or just one of the five worst star players you can get? Oh, he's definitely not the worst because people would, people, I mean, Elio's taking him, right? But the worst yeah. are the ones that people never take, like, uh. Like Dolphar. Yeah, Dolphar, yeah. Dolphar. I would say Willow, Willow, but we saw Willow in a game recently for yeah. some reason. Yeah, Willow isn't that bad. Like, gives you strength four and stuff like that. Willow does something. There's times you would take Willow, like if you needed strength in a matchup and you only had 150k and you, or you had 300 and you could go wizard and Willow. Like, there's actual times when you would want Willow and there's actual times you would want Ego, but there's literally never anywhere you would ever want Dolphar. <laughs> ever. The one I, yeah, Agi 4 with no skill rerolls that are important. And what is it? Diving catch, hail mary pass, kickoff uh, return, pass block, pass I block. Think. Yeah, yeah. Because no, he's, yeah. he's like, because he's like a kickoff. He's like a he's like a special teams player, isn't he? So he's got kick yeah. and kickoff return and and uh, and pass block. So make him like a make him like a kind of kick kicker and kick return. You know. Twenty twenty, make him like a, make him like a thrower with yeah. kickoff return. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's rather bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, there's no Mighty Blow at all, and yeah, that's true. There is Claw for uh, Elliot. But yeah, no Mighty Blow at all, that is very rare. Yeah, there's just armor value 7 and dirty player, basically. And the Delves are, the Delves are skill light, although, although they've got the amazing stats. They don't have a lot mm -hmm. of skills at all, really. Yeah, there's about five projects, isn't there? Oh, wow. Like, they do mostly have Blodge Blitzers and they have Witch Elves, so they do have quite a bit of Blodge and Raj compared to most teams, even. But yeah, they aren't, you know, Blodge Step Guarders or anything crazy. Yeah, and like Attack on Mighty and yeah. things that you'd want. Bunch of Blodge Step. Well, there's a little bit of space here, isn't there? I think. Famous elf coach, Purple Chest, might go for this space. <laughs> I don't think you go for the space. <laughs> well, his his elves are strangely movement four and armor nine, aren't they? So I think he might. <laughs> He's got a uh, sea elves, is what they're called, I believe, on Fumble. The, yeah. strength, the low movement, high armor value. Actually, kind of ridiculously strong elves. <laughs> Turns out high armor Agi 4 is really, really hard to deal with. Yeah. Funny that, isn't it? It's almost like some somebody said that that would be the meta in Blood Bowl 2020 as well, just quietly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honestly, man, Armor 9 Wood Elves is where it's going to be at, I'm telling you. Wood Elves ain't going to get played, mate. I'm going to play them, and they're going to be Armor 9. You're gonna fail, just like your nay. Wow. Wow. Timmy, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, Kiwi, I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> oh! <laughs> surely, <laughs> surely Elf Coach PC would be playing Elf. <laughs> he must have been doing his like, prep for a tournament, trying to get in the head of a Dwarf Coach by <laughs> playing a couple games on them to see what it was like. <laughs> trying to understand the mind of a Dwarf. <laughs> what, what, what were you playing, Kiwi? Goblins, surprisingly. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, he hasn't taken this because he's just got this down as a snoring threat. I don't like the fact that Elio can hit the ball. No. No, I quite like leaving it back there, like, you know, because that's the advantage that the elves have got. Yeah. They can out elf for, uh, yeah. can out elf for vamps. So it's, it's all about the when he commits. Yeah, the Push supply it. chain. Yeah. I mean, this is very nice, isn't it? A big net. Yeah, yeah. It's a big net. There's no, there's nothing, nothing happening here. He's been doing that for 150 years. <laughs> yeah. He spent 15 years pretending to be a dwarf coach just so that the truth doesn't get out about him being an elf coach. He probably gazes the two front ones and 
blitz is the uh, shown four block one. Right? I think he fouls first. Does nothing. Good prediction there, Jim. First action foul, wow. He's got the bribe, hasn't he? And they're all there from last turn, so. I mean, I know it happened by the time I predicted it, but. Uh, it doesn't still, the prediction still stands. Can hit the ball. It's not. It's not as good as my prediction yesterday, Jim. And we all know that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. If I had guessed, it was just a two-two, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. This two, guy two, should two. have definitely been one by. Yeah. Oh, this shit. is what I'm saying. He, the, the ball was on there. Yeah, it was really on. Yeah. And then he could have just come through to pick it up as well, right? He could have just come through here to to pick it up afterwards. On twos. He, he can go wherever he likes. He, in fact, he can hit the ball, but just not with not with tackle. Like he's, he's, a vamp he's literally it, through on twos. Oh no, there's a three there. Yeah. He's he's the one vampire that doesn't need an invite. <laughs> hey! Yeah. One, two, three, oh, four, yeah, five, six, probably six. won't take it. Well, he, mm, I feel like the way he's moving his thralls around, he might not. He might just blitz the one in the front. But, yeah. Oh no, he's just going through anyway, even through. Oh my god, fully through. Boy, howdy. Let's fucking go. Oh, diced. I've got a reroll on the kickoff as well. Gets the pow! Oh, it's gone too far, hasn't it? No, it hasn't. No. Vamp comes through, doesn't he? He's got to, he's got to come through with that vamp now. I guess he's just. No, no, you have to come through, yeah. Yeah, Santa Chain, now you have to come through. Once you commit to the first part, I think you go to the second part. Yeah. Look how ridiculous this is. Yep, and this this guy just there was no need to be there, was he? he could have been like one, even two squares back. Yeah. Oh, he's bloodlusted. He's not coming for it now. <laughs> uh, can't reroll it. You just go find one player you can stand next to. Maybe the guy at the top, so that it's harder for the elves to just turn the. Yeah, he probably just gazes the edgy five. No, he can't. He'll yeah, gaze he the feel or... a dodge. He can't. He can't risk feeling the dodge, right? So he has to just. He has to go for somebody that. Hey, yeah, he must have played eagle. Yeah. But... Yep. Fair enough. Pick skull. Yeah. yeah he could uh, only. He could only go no. for one of these three because the, he can't risk rolling dice and just, you know, losing him for the rest of the drive. Can he? <laughs> yeah. He and my both have scored on something. It almost. It almost mattered. But he's still got a vamp here, it's like, things... It's 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 tricky, isn't it? Because he's got to put in three people to hit him, and then he's got to pick it up, and then try and defend it, and then he's got a wizard and... It's a little tricky, he's got the, he's got the rackle... Like, I think it's very it's tricky. Not... It's not very... I think it's extremely tricky, like, how is he going to protect the ball after he commits three players to hitting it? And get it, and then... I, no, he lobs it, he lobs it, so basically he puts the, uh, the blodge step witch south of the vampire, and then he blitzes it with the Rackle Witch, pushing it towards the ball, so it's two into two. And then he picks it up on the edgy five and lobs it to the blitzer up the front. And then and then what? And then scores? And... Yeah, mm. yeah, why not? Well, that to me is tricky. <laughs> is it tricky? Score. Yeah, I, don't, I want to score on turn eight. Sounds like the witch is interesting. I mean, I mean, I'm saying it's tricky to protect the ball, and you're saying I'm just not going to protect the ball. So, I mean, that's not saying it's not tricky to protect the ball. It's saying that it's so tricky to protect the ball, you wouldn't even try. <laughs> oh, if he wants to protect the ball, he just has to run out of range of the strength 5, actually 4, 5. Right. He should have GFI backwards if he wants to do that. No, maybe, maybe the witch runs back, but then, but then this fan can get you. I think he's just going for the score now, he's just going to do the 2 plus and punch yeah, it in. Yeah, I'd just bang it in. With the bang wizard it. in play anyway, just punch it in. Amps are it. so much worse on offense than they are on defense. And I say that, like, knowing that Vamp's two turn is probably the easiest two turn going, but, like, their three turn isn't great, and that's going to give you two turns back. But it's, it's their eight turn that's terrible, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah. Their eight turn is terrible. And then I mean, it gets I mean, better as you go through the less turns they've got, they've got to spend because they, they destroy their whole team less. But, See, it was very tricky. But, you have to score. I mean, that's as tricky as it gets. Well, you know, like, it's the second trickiest thing, isn't it, if you just score? I mean, he didn't have to. Like, he could have, like, GFI backwards. But then, yeah, like you say, the, the vamp on the floor was still a problem. <laughs> Nine turn is fucking... And the, the Cheney dodge was a problem. Yeah. I wonder if he sets up the same. <laughs> <laughs> you already I mean, has. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Already has. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I wonder if, I wonder if Elliot will go for it again. I guess not with three turns. Uh, I mean, you kind of need to punch up a side, so I want to punch up the side that gets you the surf, I guess. <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe. And you've got Chaney with catch, so Chaney wants to be upfield anyway. Yeah. You do the handoff. I'll do a relay. Oh, well, now he does have the witches, though. He's have, he has the witches split, at least. Hmm. I guess you don't want to give up base, but I kind of wonder if you maybe just do a more central and just keep your agility five and your frenzy more central to punish any side more equally. Um, it's tough with only three turns and like they're pretty slow. Yeah. So. I mean, they're pretty slow, and vamps aren't fast. Vamps are just powerful when they get to where they want to go. So it's not like they're gonna completely outflank you. Yeah, I mean, they're slow as, they're slow as balls, apart from Cheney. I mean, the, the, the good thing is Cheney means that you only need to get five in, isn't it? Which is a big difference. Yeah. And then the edge five when you can't defend against him, so... So, it should actually be pretty easy, shouldn't it? He's completely undefendable. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty early. Probably correct also. I mean, it, Elliot was shown that he was just going to foul. Elliot had a wizard, so you don't really want to deal with the wizard and that effing AG5 vamp. So, probably fine just to force that vamp to play offense some more. <laughs> <It's all> the... <laughs> J J5 said, I drink about a half a gallon of milk a day and it pisses me off. That blah blah, blah. And, then, and then Azahat said, All the milk doesn't help you when you hide away in your basement. <laughs> <laughs> and then Faulty said, he's actually hoarding milk in his basement so he can kill a lactose intolerant. The perfect crime. <laughs> and then he said, I don't have a basement. Faulty said, that sounds like the scrambling of someone who has just had their secret lactose basement discovered. <laughs> And then fucking Moradan said, would it be a, if if Jimmy had a basement, would it be a secret lactose basement? Oh man. <laughs> Disgusting. He's going for it again. He's and he's got it nearly. No, he's going he hasn't got it yet. He's gone for the two plus again, yeah. Yep. The exact same play, it's the exact same play. We're gonna try this two plus again. He's and now he's done it. Well hey. Not gonna get his best player served, probably. Man, if only the elves had just put their player one, one square to the left. Yeah. This wouldn't have been on. Do you if go for the ball a... pickup? Because you can't really re-roll with Chaney? Because uh, 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 AG5 can just go and grab it, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. I like that. So take the leader here and then dodge the rest of out. Or not dodge, take but walk all the rest of it. Yeah, take your block hits here. Your block and rock, block and wrestle hits. I feel like he was set up to hit all three, and he hit the, with the wrestle leader guy when he could hit with all three. Oh, of course. He has had some very. Elliot has had some very inopportune bloodless timings here. Yes. But I guess all, he has so few vamps that they all have to do important stuff. He's having to activate them like all of the time, so it's not like he can really get around that in the same way. Three? Like fucking hell! Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's been very unlucky for sure. Like he's only rolled at max, he's rolled like fifteen, no, eighteen. Yeah. So he's definitely failed. Like he's failed a few, wasn't he? All so of he's, them. He's all of them. Had, he's also had a reroll, so like, he's probably failed four or five at this point out of fifteen, six, eight, fifteen, eighteen activations. Yeah. He's gonna fail the dodge. I don't know why I didn't hit him. He could have hit the block guy. Yeah, I don't know why the, that for, that wrestler guy who just took the block didn't take it first, then the leader, then the guy to the right of the leader. I feel like he could have done the whole LOS if he wanted to. Oh, well, you could, uh, have, you could have just done straight ahead and then done this last. Like that's just weird. You can still like. No, he can't. Still get... And now that ball's really unsafe. Oh well, you can bring the DP back and then bring the wrestle back, but then it's not safe through the front. I mean, it's pretty safe bring... just because he's on a strength four blodger, isn't it? Like, you can also bring Chaney back to fill on the right side a little bit. Chaney and they're gonna they they're, they're gonna have to deal with Chaney as well, like absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, Chaney's only got two squares left, so yeah, he couldn't mean it. He's got to fill in with just these three players somehow. 
maybe just go back there with him and back there with him and then you've got a full screen haven't you so I guess that's that's it diagonally back with him and directly back with him mm. I like that and maybe not even directly back I know because it's a weak diagonal anyway so you might as well go one back and keep the weak diagonal but then and it even would give you a chain, then it would give you a chain. No, 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 he goes one square back, that wrestle goes one square back. Yeah, but then, then you can leap in with the edge five and put in another guy there, and then he can chain. Well, the edge five's got, like, fuck all, isn't he? He's got no tackle, he's, he's got nothing, it's just the... Yeah, but God. he just leaps in to make the chain, Dimmy, so that then you can hit with the, uh... Glorious. No, the I rattle, won't which, win. Yeah, the rattle, which is what you want to hit with, isn't it? And yeah. And I will defend. I will defend. Well, maybe he just goes and stands next to the vamp. On the right. Yeah, the yeah, standing next to the vamp is pretty good, isn't it? Because then it makes it yeah. almost impossible. Well, yeah, pretty much impossible to get 2D on him. Yeah. At that point, you probably just would have to go with the wrestle dodge guy, so you don't have the frenzy stuff to worry with. With the witch elf, you just give up the tackle, which is pretty bad. Well, but... oh, you just leave it as it is. Just leave it, yeah. yeah. yeah go, come bad. at me, bro. Yeah, it's not that bad leaving it where it was, to be fair. Uh, can we ban HDK? <laughs> no. Have you seen who he's just gifted us up to? No, I didn't know. Who's the ridiculous <laughs> gifts up to? Blidger! <laughs> <laughs> it's HDK. I mean, Thanks, HDK! Right. <laughs> it's the Blidger! <laughs> so he's gifted subs to Dickie G and Blidger now, hasn't he? <laughs> it's really good. It, it's Honestly, it's toxic masculinity. I don't like it. <laughs> toxic masculinity. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I call toxic masculinity. Giving gift subs to joke names. <laughs> it, it, it is. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> I mean, it's the patriarchy, it's isn't it? It's a, it's a fucking disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's he doing? Forward <laughs> and screen. <laughs> oh, he's rolling a 1 in 9. And, oh no, it was a 1 in 36, it was the edge 5. Okay, well. Uh, we can get another surf here. And. Uh, was the plan with the RG5 coming through? I don't I've see got it. No idea. I think the RG5 oh. was going to tag and then the witch was going to come through. Actually, five comes was, through. Maybe it was a strength four of Blodger was going to come through. Actually, I think yeah, like, one, two, three, four, no, no, five, no. six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, he could he could have come through with it. Yeah, I think the edgy five comes oh. through, and then I think both witches, so the blodge step which is the other assist, the yeah. rapper witch comes through, and then he picks it up on the blodge strength four. Is what I think he was. Yeah, trying. I think so. Yeah, the weak diagonal. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, and then one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, double GFI. So yeah, I think that's. I think you bang on there, Dimraf. Nice spot. What? I've got lots of them. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. On my tip. Aren't you a bit old for that? Hey. <laughs> Liver spots, Jim. They're different. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy OK, oh wow, no way, is that real? Is that a real account? It is. <laughs> oh, he's he's Jimmy that. Jungler, he's Jimmy Jungler, he's, he's a League of Legends. Jimmy OK. Oh, he's a jungler in League of Legends, what, what's mm. he main in? Let's all look. <laughs> he's only OK. <laughs> Imagine only being Jimmy OK. <laughs> oh, he hasn't streamed in forever. He's got more followers than me. There you go. Yeah, he's not streamed in forever. He's only, he's only okay. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. 
<laughs> I clicked on that guy, you know, Jimmy OK, and he had a link to uh, to his Facebook, and I wanted to see if his Facebook was Jimmy OK because obviously I used to have Jimmy Fantastic, and then it got it got cancelled. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, oh my today. god! Yeah, that's another double one. Good Jeez, job! Good uh, job he got. Good job he got uh, ego because he's bitten him about fourteen times already. <laughs> these fucking dice are horrendous. He should have punched first though, shouldn't he? Yeah, he hasn't walk, blitzed yet. Yeah. He hasn't blitzed, so he, he should. Well, he would have. He would have dub skulled, and he would have been in a bit more shit. Right? Yeah, but you know, like, but he, he should have blocked first. I don't. Uh, know. Yeah, because now he's got to go here to bite. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So now it's okay. And he's gazed him, yeah. Correct. Oh, please. More this does not make me ever want to play vampires. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a dicing, isn't it? I mean, if you watch Dark Mrs. Game, you wouldn't want to ever use dwarves. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I watched oh, a bit of watching Artemis. That's why I use dwarves. I, I think I think Daedal is watching far too much Artemis because he's just fucking mental Ooh, now. <laughs> In what way? No, like, he just screams about normal dice, saying they're fucking really out of order, and I'm like, no, it's just a one in nine, mate. Like he's been happen. out for a while, doesn't he? To be fair. No, but I think he's been watching way too much of him, and it's just affected his brain. I remembered a clip of him like going absolutely mental because he just like rolled a double one or something, or maybe just a one with his scape. And I think it was like a double one, and I was like, "It's a double one." Do you remember when that happened? Somebody clipped it. Wait, wait he literally like he left his ball carrier open to a three plus four plus like one D sack, and the guy took it, and he was like, "Oh my god, these are so on average dice!" Like, <laughs> I was like, "Well, don't." leave the the three plus four plus on like you could have caged and he was like no i couldn't it was impossible and i was like oh, all right I'll see, I'll see you later mate don't worry about it like, <laughs> like, i don't know yeah. artemis has done things about that in tan so maybe maybe when you run those like this is your brain on artemis yeah i was it up or something <laughs> completely there's the Rackle, he's not here, so he's got 2D though, but not Rackle, he's coming put in a reroll. oh, and he's got to. <laughs> he gets the power, my oh god! Oh, disgusting. But the edge 5 is fucked up That's over here, which is, I guess, good as a scoring threat, but imagine if he hadn't gone dug him in last turn, he could run him, oh my god, he's killed him. This, yeah, is, this is ridiculous. So, so is Cheney... The yeah. only scoring for it at the moment is uh, uh, yeah, TV's uh, two thralls. Uh, yeah, if he picks it up, he's kind of fucked though. Yeah. He's a little, a little bit in trouble. Yeah. Three, three, two, two, three, think, three, two. I think you just go for the four plus. Like you go for the uh, four plus. Ah, yeah, yeah. He's dodging yeah, out yeah. and run back, and then get and some then chain it. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah. Probably like to have based um Cheney with another player here first. Yeah, it's like he's just decided to do some safer stuff and then go through. So, because otherwise, like there was just a hypno on the guard guy, and he just instantly hits you with Cheney, right? That snake's bloodlust really fucked him, didn't it? Yeah. Like, it's just some hard to get through this way, isn't it? But there you go, he's done it anyway. No problem. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't dodge off. Is he gonna lob it? That's the I next guess. question. Do you just lob I it guess. straight at this witch elf who's movement six? There aren't over catches of it. Suspect, you might have to do another GFI or maybe move another square to not throw over uh, catch. Yeah, I'm not sure, yeah. It's got okay. oh. Intercept? He's done it? Oh my god. That was, well, that was the mark turn. against going for the pass, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. This kind of simplifies the turn for Elliot, doesn't it? I do a 3 plus and a 2 well, now... plus. Nah, no, I'm probably just a 2 plus. Probably. Oh no, you oh, just no, gaze no. him, you, you gaze yeah, him, don't you? Yeah, you well, try and do the gaze. Or blitz him, uh, you know, so you, you can, you block you him, a... and then you block him, and oh, then right. you blitz or gaze him, depending. I think you've you got two shots of gazing him, so you just yeah, move exactly, forward, yes. and it, yeah, and then you gaze. Oh no, not like this. Oh, he has to not dodge, like he has to dodge. Not like this, I mean. Yeah, surely that's not better than taking the 2Ds at the bottom to free up players. 
Yeah, Wait, you, you're you're getting, you're getting just just, no. This you makes the gears easier, rhythm. but still. This One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Is this free up away for him to get? No, no, he's. There's not a way still to get a 2D with like a wrestle guy or something, so you can do it without using it. Uh, there's, what, you, what you can do is you can 2D this guy, pow him, <sighs> um, gears this one. No, you can mm -hmm. put the fall in. You can no, put the fall no, in. No, no, let me let me finish, Timmy. <laughs> right? no. You can no, 2D no. him, pow him, get get gears the witch elf. Then this thrall can then go in here, and then this thrall can come round and blitz, and then get him push forward one. And obviously, you'd have to power. You can just if you if you gaze the witch elf and you push the blitzer out of the way, you can just straight up blitz the wrestle guy with the wrestle or the dodge guy with the wrestle guy by using your carrier as the assist, can't you? You just walk around the witch elf, six movement. You just gaze. You just gaze the guy next on the ball. Yes, but if you... you power him, then you then I'm just saying you could do this, and then if you power him, it saves the GFR uh, as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that what that to me okay. is the only point in freeing up this wrestler. There is they no GFI. Like... There is a GFI, yes. Timmy. Where? There. No, it's... <laughs> That's you a GFI. It... Oh right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cargo bait. I mean, he's got a reroll. No one ever fails. I just don't GFI. understand the point in freeing this, like freeing up this guy when you can just free yeah. this guy anywhere on, Wait. like on a two D. Yeah, Wait, it just means he can gaze the dodger. But he could have done that anywhere, Dimmy, because he could have just punched him. That he could have punched here, right? Gone here and then punched there, and then he's still got that right. He can, do he can gaze the first one and then he can blitz with the second one if he doesn't do the gaze the first time. Now he's only got one shot. Yeah, he's bringing that round, so, and then if not, he can blitz it with a wrestle, he's got two assists. Yeah, but he could have blitzed it with a vampire if he'd not done it the other way. Oh, he shouldn't have done it from that. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. My way was definitely better. Alright, Chip. Definitely better. <laughs> I, I don't was... understand why you didn't just start with the wrestle hit first. I don't know yeah. why we're moving the vampire first. You start with that wrestle hit on the bottom first, I think that player, that you're always taking that hit. Yeah, exactly. No, you don't start yeah. the blood loss. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then you know, and then you know what you know if it's a power or not, and you know where your vamps are to do things and stuff. But you know, it's still, it's still, it was good enough. Yeah, it was, it was a great job. I mean, he was very lucky to get the the intercept, wasn't he? After being very unlucky to to get the double one blood loss and mm -hmm. <laughs> with all of his other blood loss fails. So yeah, you know, as 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 mad as as Elliot's dice have been on the blood loss, he, he is still two one up and still has a wizard, and this has been a very very good drive for him, hasn't it? A lot of players too. So honestly, neither team's really gotten gone around maximizing blocks. Cause they're both so terrified of giving <laughs> giving up hits on the ball, and they're both failing at it, kind of. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I just I just think Elliot's been a bit of a greedy banger. <laughs> he is a greedy banger. Oh, well, he's probably has the worst team, so I think playing a bit greedy is probably correct. Especially when your opponent's just giving you like serve some good players. I think it's the correct play. <laughs> okay, I yeah, might get banned from Elliot's chat. Castor just said coaching only during Discord co calls, not on stream. And I said can't coach a greedy banger. That might that might end me. That might end me. That might end me a ban from Elliot. <laughs> oh yeah, because somebody said assist Cheney and blitz from NR to S. I think he's got his own NE to us. North right? Yeah, North right. Yeah. <laughs> and then Stone did text to speak and said, I could tell you, but I won't. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, is this in Elio's chat, is it? Yeah, yeah. Look at him. The intercept was nicely done. I mean, that was the thing, right? The intercept was the big one. Yeah. If he just hadn't passed it, I wonder how hard it would have been. Like, it. I would have thought about passing it, but I mean, I don't know if I would have done it because you'd have to work out exactly how likely you think the ball sack is from Elliot compared to how likely the intercept is. He can't have been that. The ball sack can't have been that like because he has to have used Cheney, who's tight, who should have been tied up with more players than he was. Yeah. But and it's the fumble. Even the fumble was bad, right? So the fumbles at one in six, which is terrible, and the intercepts at one in six, which is terrible. So there's, there's, and I think he'd already used the reroll, hadn't he? Yeah, he had on the pick, mm -hmm. so it was double score. So he's already 30% of just putting the ball on the ground instead of having it on a, on, a, on a blodger. So I think it probably was best to hang on and then have, you know, a couple of relays at upfield. And then, uh, 
so it probably was better. And it's obviously easy to say that after the, after the thirty percent has happened, but still, when you've got the ball and the blodger somewhat far away from your opponents, like the fact he'd KO'd the strength five as well, hadn't he? Mm -hmm. That was it like, be, that it, was the killer. If he if he was just down next to him, then oh, yes, yeah. you you pass one hundred percent. Yeah, you get away from that. But since he was stunned because it, uh, he used the K, the uh, apple on it, yeah, he's removed from the drive. Yeah. Cheney's tied up. The other ramps have to get through a wall. They can't. They can't bloodlust because the thralls can't really get there. He has to score on a thrall. He has to do agi three rolls after all of that. Besides, it, I mean, it would be quite hilarious if Elliot qualified every single race, never won a chalice, and then won it with the shittest vampire <laughs> team you've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah. It would be a testament to what you can do with one good vampire. Yeah. yeah. Oh, doesn't another, get the touch Oh my back. god, what this a is, kick. This is going to be... I mean, it was already really difficult, now it's even more difficult. Don't know why I did that. I don't know what this play is. I'm like, this guy did nothing, he just wasted a player for no reason. Uh... Cancel the assist. All right, yeah. I still don't know what he's doing. I right, powered anyway. Like blitzing with frenzy, I hated everything about that. He's got strength four to blitz. Like it's just that was terrible. Terrible. Deserved double skulls for a terrible one turn attempt. It was a really hard one turn though. Like probably not worth trying. I would say. Apparently, isn't worth putting the reroll into the first bullet pushes anyway. Just gonna take the hits, I guess. Yeah, I definitely wanna bang that AG5 vamp and foul it. Yeah. I'm just gonna foul the ship vamp instead. Any regen? Yeah. Yeech! Sent off even more huge. Yeech! <laughs> but he's got very That's, that's huge, Jim. Age. <laughs> Self conscious. <laughs> For <fuck's> sake, please. <laughs> um, taking the lifestyle and mindset to when you play dwarves, do you also always try one turns with dwarves PC? <laughs> Is that why you carry troll slayers just to give yourself a better shot at it? Does PC play dwarves? I don't. I don't think. I think he's a, just an elf coach, isn't he? Well, when he's trying out dwarves, you know, people have seen, they've seen him play with it a couple of times, and it's such a, a difference that I'm wondering how much of his elf lifestyle can he translate to dwarves? <laughs> Affirmation, wow. Oh, he, he fouled with a dodge player instead of a rookie. I guess he didn't have a rookie on the field. He's got the two rookies on the bench. Yeah, he just mm. didn't have a rookie to foul with. Yeah, I guess oh. not. If I was going to foul a vamp, it would have been the uh, the big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you knock him down, foul him, yeah. Yeah, you know, when you think of elves in Blood Bowl 2, you think of Inari and Gadernik and Purple Chest, don't you? Uh, Perival. Don't forget Perival. Wood elves. Wood elves. Oh. Mr. Page, Mr. Page is the famous, famous elf coach. Shawnee, mate, Shawnee. Shawnee. Shawnee had one of the biggest wood elf teams I've ever seen and lost to Singolo's tiniest dwarf team yeah. I've ever seen. Sha Shawnee's undead, I, I think more of undead for Shawnee, but he does love woodies. That's true. And he won with Chaos, so, you know, I think, I think Shawnee's a bit more diverse. Shawnee's just a greedy banger, really. That's that's how he won challenge was being a greedy banger, wasn't it? It's how Nick Nick, despite being thinking of himself as an elf coach, has won challenge twice by being a greedy banger. Yeah, <laughs> all. Yeah, mighty yeah. blow first off. Literal definition of a greedy banger. <laughs> Amazing. It is weird how a game where you hit things can remove players, moving players is in fact pretty good. Hmm. And. Super weird. Yeah. It's like, you know, how, like, removal is good in Magic the Gathering. It's a really weird thing being able to just get, get good things off the field. How powerful that can be. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who knew? Ma magic the what? Gathering. This card game. This card game that was uh, invented, like, 20... It's it's, it's a small card game. Small is, game. It like, is it like World of Warcraft? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. 
pretty much. Ooh, dub skulls, he's gotta re-roll it, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh. It's like poker for virgins. Wow, I'll read it. Oh, it's like poker for people who like the art and stuff. Or don't like gambling. So for virgins, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, only virgins like art. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and don't so like that's gambling, yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the key. Those are the two key ways. You know, if someone's a virgin, you see if they want to put money on a game or if they want to go to an art gallery. If they say yes, they say no to the first, and yes to the second. They gotta be a virgin. <laughs> I didn't even say to be fair. Then did I? Did I? <laughs> I probably did. Yeah. To be fair. <laughs> Hello, school. Uh... <laughs> you see, I've dabbled with dwarves, but in my heart, I'm always an elf, and an elf specialist is a fair description. <laughs> You know, that's the kind of thing you can't really argue against, BC claims like that. It's not, is it? It's not. It's yeah. like, it's it's on the same level as, I think I'm a banana tree. I think, to be fair, is much better than the way people use the word literally. Because oh, God, yeah, literally. they use that word incorrectly all the time. And, like, to be fair, it's... <laughs> to be fair. It's like, you're saying something, but not literally, like... Yeah, uh, I I see more misuse of the word literally in the Blood Bowl community than any other phrase. Glory. Literally, just no, a modifier people in. use to say Until seriously or extremely. Basically, it is literally very bad. They just, ex they just mean extremely very bad. PC is almost as much of an elf coach as Crucifier. That's literally the most stupid thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> No, I tried to use it wrong and I still couldn't. Right. What does what what does hyperbole actually mean though? Like I need to know what hyperbole means. Um, what is that hyperbole? It's hyperbole. It's like just being oh like, hyperbole ri ridiculously over the top. Um, <laughs> Jim Dim. <laughs> Jim Dim. Uh, a large thud. Thank you very much for staying fantastic for nine months. <laughs> PC is almost as much of an elf coach as Crucifer. <laughs> yeah. The funny thing is, I wanted to say Crucifer when PC was saying it, but Crucifer actually has played a lot of pro elves, so like it didn't even. Are work. you? It are you saying PC hasn't yeah, actually and, played a lot of pro elves? And yeah. Cru Cruz is actually good at blood bowl as well. <laughs> yeah, look at that 400, 400 games. So you can't even do it. Like you can't even say it with Cruz. But that's what I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> I like Crucifer and played a lot of elves. Not not like Crucifer nor PC. <laughs> not on Blood Bowl 2. Played 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 a bunch on Blood and Fumble to be fair. Played more on Fumble than uh, than like the the twenty games on Blood Bowl. Oh well, wow. to be to, to be, be fair, fair. <laughs> to be fair, uh, fair. PC and tabletop. Uh, yeah. PC has like a high off team that he's got like two thousand games on, like in just like that one team. In Fumble, on Fumble. In Fumble. In, in the White Owl League, which is also known as the White Isle League. Yeah. What's he called? KFOG has got a high elf team that has more games on it than I've played on Fumble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe it was KFO. Maybe it wasn't PC then. Maybe I'm wrong. PC does have a like a purple helmets team or something. <laughs> I, I <laughs> I swear he won. He's won. He's won it loads. With, I swear he's won loads of stuff with files. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's got like. I'm sure he's got a, a purple helmets high elf team. I'm sure he's won some local leagues with high elves. I mean, one thing is for certain, he doesn't have any fish. That's very true. Yeah, we all know that. Gimrath is, is on the case. Oh look, he's got a, he's got a solid Bretonian record. Does he? Almost as good as Gems, maybe even better, maybe no. even better than Gems. No. No one's got a better. Hat, but <laughs> he's literally played like two games on Bert's uh, Amazon. So one game on Skype. <laughs> Six thousand on Dwarves. Yeah, he hasn't got two thousand games. He's got he's got like two three hundred odd. Yeah. White and purple smoke. There you go. That's the White Isle League, isn't it? Yeah. 315. 
that league team, so there you go. But yeah, K Fog with the Nandarins has got like uh, about 2,000. Oh, is it? Yeah, I'm getting mixed up with the K Fog team. Yeah, K Fog. Oh, 1535. And then. Completely reasonable amount of games to play on a high off team. Yeah. <laughs> He does have a perfect boat record, yeah. I mean, you play Dode Math, probably not as good. Dode Math, the best system we've ever seen invented for Blood Bowl, Public Cloud, I should say. It's, it's fine. It's yeah. perfectly average, which is as good as we've ever been able to figure out. Yeah, it's, it is fine, yeah. It's, it's a hard thing to, it's a hard thing to yep. do, to be fair. Yep. To be fair. <laughs> God. To be fair. <laughs> Like, fair. not saying the phrase, to be fair. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to be fair, the handboy. That's what I always say. I've got the best I've got the best underworld record in, in CCL because I haven't played any games with them. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that with Kimry for a while, too, wasn't it? You had the perfect Kimry record of zero games played, but that's changed. Maybe. I've so got I'm zero Kislev still. I've got zero Kislev, mm. which is the correct amount of Kislev. No, I played one game of Kislev. I played one game of Kislev like a fool. So I, don't, I lost my perfect Kislev, but I've still got perfect underworld. I thought you'd played a Christmas Moon. His love and CCL, but I guess that was an open. Yeah, uh, I think it was on like when they were the beta. I think that's when it was. Like, Jim said he uh, never uh, played open ladder. No, no, it was it was when they were beta. It was when they were on the beta. Have, Jim, have you or have you not ever played open ladder? Not, yeah, not since they split them. Oh, so you have played it? But when it was the only place it. you could play, yeah. Uh, okay. I know. Yeah, Jim might have played it at some point because he, he's played against my my uh, ridiculous peasant team. I had my sixteen peasants, and he beat it. And that team had to have been an open because there's no way that was in CCL. That <laughs> dumb team. Yeah, I, I haven't played it since it split. Since it split. Yeah, right. yeah. So that team was only active back when people, when it was still, as Arvis would say, the happy time when a bunch of bad coaches would concede all the time to mm -hmm. getting fouled once. <laughs> yeah, and knowing they're going to get fouled 15 more times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh no, my leap failed and he's fouling me? Alright, I'm going to concede with Wood Elves on turn 2 against 16 Peasants. How could I ever win this game? Alright. I think I think the perfect record is actually Shawnee's Undead record. It's not perfect though, is it? It's Who not perfect, the, um... but like, it's about as perfect as... Oh my god, who the hell is... Shawnee's not right? Shawnee's Sean, isn't he? Sean dash 18. Sean 18, yeah. Um, this is interesting. I'm surprised that Elliot isn't really push anything. Like this is four turns, isn't it? He's had three yeah. turns and he hasn't really done anything at all. You'd think with a wizard, he'd try and move somewhere to generate some kind of threat. I guess he's got the lead. He's looking at possible overtimes. So he already has the reroll advantage. He has the wizard in hand, so he doesn't. The attrition is still fine, so it's on the elves to kind of force the action. I guess it is. I think uh, I think that's about as perfect as it gets, that Shawnee Undead record. It is pretty good, yeah. And then you got got Moldripster with a Necromantic. Yeah. What was the, um, yeah, what was the Ridiculous Chaos team when Blood Bowl 2 first came out? Ridiculous. The first time had like the 200 wins or whatever it was. Top Because everyone, cause again, it was just concession farming. Yeah. 18, um... 18 and 6 is mental. Yeah, it is, yeah. I think Moldrips is maybe better because it's even over, it's over more games and it's only a tiny bit worse, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Remember the worst I mean, team, really. And he's he's done it with less teams as well. He's done it with nine, whereas Shawnee did it with 12. Yeah. And none did are obviously better at 1,000 TV than probably any other race in the game, barring Woody's. No, they're probably better at a thousand team value, they probably get what else probably pass them pretty quickly once they get some strip ball and tackle on their ward answers. But I think I think undead are better at team value one thousand. Yeah, I think I think so they're like, the best at one thousand. Yeah, they I have everything. There's already. zones though, right? There's zones. So it's zones or undead, but zones are weird because of the the dwarf, the dwarf yeah. aspect. And I don't. And I don't. I think undead are probably more happy to play. What else than they are Amazons? Because it's just kind of annoying. But I don't think Amazons want to play undead at a thousand either. It's just well, if the undead run three Ds and kill me, I lose. <laughs> like that's the. Yeah. Oh, I don't like don't this have... sidestep. 
What do you think uh, of that? No. I wouldn't yeah. even, now he can dodge and... Like, I wouldn't have let him do that, like... Yeah, so, we're going for the ball now. Yeah. Yeah. Cheney? No, Cheney's not far up that he can pressure either. The Cheney being in the backfield is probably good. This is a little throwback to the Surgeon versus uh, Lumi game where there was no pressure on the ball for Lumi, was there? So he could just sit back yeah. and then bring the ball forward later. And obviously it's, it's slightly different because the vampires and stuff, but this is this is like, right, bring the ball forward. Like, this is the, this is the thing. When you play against vampires, you want to sit the ball as deep in your field as possible for as long as possible. But now this is like you either have to like power and armor break that vamp, or you need to bring the ball forward. Also, unlike pretty much every other time in the game, uh, Elliot hasn't failed so many bloodlusts that he actually is able to have thralls up as far as vampires when they're down the field. Yeah, well, he, has, he hasn't activated these vamps, has he? That's why he hasn't yeah. failed. He just hasn't activated two of them. I didn't yeah. say surgeon either. I said chicken. <laughs> sure you did. I said surgeon. Chicken. But... Jeez. I heard said surgeon. <laughs> yeah, I heard sturgeon actually. Sturgeon. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. He's gonna pass. Yeah, J5 heard sturgeon. Demi's actually a, a big fancy man who's a fan of uh, caviar, apparently. Mm -hmm. Sturgeon fish. I've never had caviar to be fair. I don't see like how I, I I I don't understand how I would like it because it's not really fatty and. For the calories and is it not? It, my dad said it was like it was like really really nice cheese. He said, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, really, so, yeah. He said it was like cheese, or like you know, or like really creamy cheese or something. Anyway, cheese was how he described it. And he said, I like, he said I mean, I like lovely. cheese, but I don't really love it. Like. I, I like cheese a lot, so I thought mm, maybe I would like it, but I'm never gonna try it probably. <laughs> yeah, my, 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 like my dad loves like a cheese board and that, and, like my brother and my dad they'll get a cheese board but I, i'll just have another pint of lager please mate yeah me too i don't like fancy shit uh just give me wait oysters would you have you had you, you must have had oysters before no nah, don't want to no I fucking uh, hate. honestly i kind of hate seafood in general i, I don't well i don't hate mm. it i don't hate it I, I think it's all right but that's it do you know what i mean yeah. it's all right it's all right like it's all right all right I, I, I'm not gonna pay loads of money for it when I could buy a burger for ten quid. That's yeah. a lot better. Fine. But yeah, they're not. Which ones aren't my favorite? I like crawfish and I like some uh, calamari, but not super into oysters. <laughs> an oyster is one dollar. Having is the spaff biscuit. <laughs> well, an oyster, an oyster isn't one dollar in the UK. It's like ten quid. It's like. Ridiculous. That's zero used to northeastern prices where he can just walk out of his house and go down to the coast and get like 10 oysters. Yeah, yeah, for one it was like 10 quid. Yeah. But I, I, I did eat it in London, so it probably isn't the same everywhere in England. But like in London, yeah, it was like 10 for an oyster. <laughs> can it disguise itself as a kebab? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you can buy a full blown kebab. When you buy a full-blown kebab for like 10 quid or an oyster, like, I know exactly what I'd pick. Oh my god. Right, now is he going to whiz here? Is the question, isn't it? Probably no, not. No, no. He's, no. Already, he's already not. He saves it for overtime, like, because if Rakso scores, like, like if Elio can get a two-turn, he's got a chance, right? Yeah, and yeah. then if yeah. if Rakso scores, Elio doesn't really give a shit. It's It's... In overtime, if we're in this position in overtime, then yeah, he might wizard, but not now. The only concern I have going to overtime, if I was all the is like no coach has shown the ability to stop the other team from scoring. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. And no one's got the attrition advantage either. So it's not like, well, you know, I'm up players. Like you have the wizard and you have Agi five man, but like. That's that's it. I I I also love eggs de boomy, yep, scrambled, fried, soft boiled. Poached. I don't like poached. hard boiled as much. Yeah, obviously poached. Poached's poached. poached the best. I was getting there, Dimmy. I was poached getting there. Poached is great. Yeah. You know, Jim, you were tilting me. I was getting there, but I like poached the most. But um. But the, I mean, the the issue with the wizard, right, is Eliot could yeah. pop pop the wizard on turn fifteen. So Raxo can't really stall it till turn 16, which gives Elliot a two turn. 
And if he does stall it till turn 16, Eliog can just use the wizard and steal the ball and punt it or do whatever he needs to do. He so can, it's... He can kind of sit on our interpreting because he still has RG5 guy not with the ball, so... He has but if Eliod, if, if Eliod, if Eliod like uses the wizard on turn 15, runs in, picks it up, hands it off to another vampire, lobs it down the field, like that's when I can see him using the wizard. And then like also it it just it's just playing on the minor Raxo, thinking, do I score turn 16 or 15? Like, do you know what I mean? So you need to put more heat on the Lord to like otherwise it'll just. Stuck he does need to put a little, yeah, he needs to put a little bit more heat on. But that AG5 vamp can do what the flippy likes do you know what i mean it's, what um, flippy ones? He, he can he can okay. and as long as he's near the ball like i would not feel safe as Raxo. Oh. and i think we're going to see the edgy five come back and hover above cheney oh go for a foul that's clever isn't it foul this, yeah. this is nice this is nice because it gets them in the in the in the area and it also gets, lets them do a foul that was really nice there was a player foul probably too yeah Really nice. it double I mean, fours? Really nice. It's not double it's fours. Not double fours. Wow. Armor value seven mattered. Oh, I'm sorry, it didn't. I saw the that, injuries of seven. It didn't. Just, that didn't that, that or oh, Dabuma didn't have a poo for two Actually, weeks. Actually, <laughs> yeah, no. That's the only bad thing about eggs. <laughs> like if they weren't like that, I would just eat them forever. Like it would Actually, be. No, I was right. It'd be pretty much the only thing I ate if the, if it wasn't for that. Honestly, like. It's. It would be. I would just eat eggs constantly. Ooh, <laughs> oh, that's a huge KO. That's a huge KO. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. So maybe he's got some heat on just by just by the two removals, but still not mm -hmm. actual heat. No, he'll get heat on next. Well, the turn. problem. The problem is, is a double screen enough? Because I don't think it is. Because you can bolt the ball. You. You, you screen the front end, you blitz through the second end, and then like, the, the question is whether he can get it away from the edge of fire. Yeah, but so. he's, he's got the space for it, hasn't he? That's the thing. Whereas if if yeah. if he was in contact here, then he just hasn't got the space. So it's like it's not an option. He goes in, and then you've got three turns, and then you you probably win, right? So I think he probably, you know, it's arguable, of course. But I think if he tried to get more heat on this turn, I just don't think there's space for him to, to double screen. That way, but yeah. it's also it's also turn fourteen, isn't it? It's not yeah. turn fifty. Yeah, Buying the turn's worth it, I think. But a three turn, turn score is easier for the vamps than two turn. Yeah, yeah. Buying the turn is worth it, I think. Two turns, they have to basically score. use all their movement. With three, they can kind of just get things back to the LOS. So like a deep kick on a two turn makes it really, really hard for the vamps. Well, the only way he's using the wizard is if he thinks he can get the ball, and if he can get the ball, then there is no overtime. Yeah. So, and if not, then you just keep the wizard. If you win the toss, then mm -hmm. you can take as many turns as you like. So, yeah. it's definitely advantage Elliot at this stage. Yeah. Well, he's winning 2 1. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Are we going to see a turret half? And it, it's all about how much bottle Raxo's got as well, to be honest. Has he got the minerals? Well, I don't know if he has, Jim. <laughs> yeah, eggs are, eggs are incredible. They, they're so good for you, and they taste so good. I could just literally eat them all. Like, I could eat them all day, every day. Omelettes, mate, omelettes. Yeah, omelet. yep, yeah, yeah, omelettes. Scrambled. Fried. I don't like fried. I, I probably like fried the least. For I do. Meat. I do like a fried egg. I like dipping my sausages in a fried egg. I mean, I, I do like them, but I, I think they're the worst of of the ones that I like. I mean, I think they're better than hard boiled. But soft boiled, yeah. I like. Four. And obviously, poached, I enjoy poached it. is the best. Like, why have poached a fried egg when you can have a poached egg? That's that's the thing, right? That's the thing. That is the thing, Jim. That is the thing. And why would you ever accept anything less than poached cheese? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been, of course, making hollandaise sauce, which is a pain. But and poaching <laughs> is a pain. But... No, it's not. If you get poachies, poaching yeah. is not a pain. You yeah, literally I... put it in a tea bag. You crack an egg into a tea bag and dip it in boiling water for five minutes. It's the easiest thing ever. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some poachies. I'm, I'm telling you all now. You got 110 viewers. If you ever yeah. want a poached egg, buy poachies. And if it, <laughs> like. Don't don't do that vinegar stirring it and all that wife's tail bullshit. <laughs> Just buy a 
goddamn packet of poachies. I'm going to do them. I'm going to do them. Next, next Amazon order. I'll get them. All right. <laughs> Greedy banger's got something to say. <laughs> I personally just enjoy a, a good egg over easy on a piece of toast. Quite enough for me. Or an omelette sometimes. Over easy means runny, right? Yes. <laughs> you can the choose how solid they're prepared, but the omelette over once the same way. And then a runny yolk. Just Google Poachies Ali Rider. Oh. Results in your genitals falling off. How many of each kind of which kind of egg? I, I guess scrambled are the easiest. Scrambled. To eat. So I would say scrambled. Hey, can't, hang on, hang on, one second. Carney gaze the wrestler and surf the ball here. Or am I going mental? Uh, so he hasn't, he hasn't well, got yeah, a guard. Can, yeah, yeah, he can. Although it is a four plus it's, gaze, three plus gaze. Yeah, but then he then he's got a dodge, so it's it's a four plus or a three plus with a with a good vamp. Yeah, three plus with a good vamp, and then and double GFI one D surf. Yeah, I guess he's going for it. I mean, why not? Oh, he's just gonna go with a vampire. He's gonna go for the. He's gonna try and do. He can do the second. Uh, gaze. He can try and gaze the other one too, right? So there's no dodge, I guess. Uh, I don't know. What he could do is he could run through and then gaze him, right? And then then he'd then he'd get and then two into one. one. Yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty nice, isn't it? He could go three, four, five, six, seven. seven. Gaze. And then he can go, and then he'll get two and one. Could do a three plus dodge if he didn't want to do the GFI. Also, I guess. Gonna do but, that, then he would do it the other way around, surely, because you'd, you'd gaze with the ship ramp first, and then. Yeah, that's what I would have thought. Yeah, that's why I would have thought if if you're trying to go in from there, you do it with him. Yeah. Well, I guess this way this means that even if the second one fails, you still have it on, and yeah. it's more reliably happens as opposed to doing it the other way around. I mean, this needs a three plus three journey now, though, doesn't it? Which is a bit yeah, crazy. you're not gonna. Yeah, he abandons. He abandons at this point. No, I don't think he does. Go I don't think he does. No. No, you're really? Still yeah, yeah, you go for this. Yeah. With four yeah, rerolls, he could have even rerolled that with Lona. He could have done. Like, you know, I'm not saying it's good, but he could have done. I think on the second, if it's the second push, I think you reroll it. I don't think you reroll re the GFI, but on that, the second block, I think you do reroll it at that point if you like a skull or something. So the payoff at that point is ridiculously huge. Oh, Chaney has. Wait, mm, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I it might have been worth putting the reroll with four. Like I know vampires need a lot of rerolls. I think that might have yeah. been correct to have rerolled that. Honestly. Well, the reason I, I understand the reason he did the g five vamp from there is because he's sidestep and he didn't want the other vamp getting surfed. But like, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I, I still think it should have been the other way around, personally. Yeah, I think so. If you're going to go that way of trying to get them both, then I think that's the way to do it. Yeah, and then he just walks in, but he, would, he still would have failed the GFI. Yeah. Raxo yeah, can't. I, if Raxo stalls here, like, he's. No. I mean, yeah, he's got a score. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, using yeah, 2D and you punch it in. You're done. Scrambled eggs is just aiming for an omelette and fucking it up and then trying to start it out. No, I often just have scrambled eggs on purpose. Scrambled and you get stuff into it more easily. It's easier to add stuff to a scrambled egg than it is. Making an omelette is super easy. <laughs> it is if you've got an omelette maker. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck needs an omelette maker? <laughs> I don't know what kind of omelette you're trying to make as well. Oh man, that's, I couldn't Wait, believe how good that omelet. clip was. I'd never heard it and it was so good. I'd never, I'd never, I'd never, I'd never, I'd never heard of an omelette maker. Like, who on, like, who cannot make an omelette, like, honestly? It's an it's an incredible clip. I don't I don't know what it is, but uh, but but it was on it was on Chunter's channel, and it was Bringer said like it's something about an omelette maker, and Timmy said, "What's her name?" <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic. Yeah, exactly. Screw who needs an omelette maker when you have a poach? Yeah, yeah. It was pretty. It was a pretty great clip. Holy shit. Yeah, but poach poached eggs are just better. Fin, what? How'd you say that? Fin, fin as north, fine as north. 
Is that Finn or Finus North? I don't know what you're saying, Phineas. so I don't know what's Phineas correct. North. Phineas. Phineas, yeah. Like Phileas Chris. Fogg. Well, not Finn as. No. Oh, okay. Or fine as, I guess, but no, it's Phineas. Of course it is. <laughs> Every sentence for Dimmy is an adventure. <laughs> Holy shit, greedy banger. Yeah, that must be HDK, right? It must be <laughs> HDK. Yeah, HDK. I'm going to ban him. <laughs> greedy banger uh, account date September 24th, 2022. Yeah, I think I know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've had raw eggs. Uh, raw eggs are fine, honestly. I've had raw eggs a fair bit. Thank you. I went through a rocky phase. Raw eggs. Oh, mate, oh, I can't, oh, that sounds disgusting, Jim. It's all right. It's all right. I and I had them raw, like, uh, mixed up, like, you know, like, a protein shake as well. So, oh, it sounds rough as hell, mate. No, like, people who drink heel, man. Like, what, the, what is wrong with people who drink heel? <laughs> yeah, I've had raw eggs. No problem. Oh, HK's commands just, oh, oh, just, oh, just oh, as Greedy oh, Banger was banned. Well, isn't that funny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> raw chicken, oh my god, no. <laughs> it's like a cowardly way of eating raw chicken. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's the thing though, like, there's so many stuff, there's so much stuff that they say is super good for you, and then, like, Later on, you find out that it's not super good for you, and there's loads of stuff that they say is super bad for you, and then later on, you find out that it's not actually bad for you. Like it's, I guess, like every human being has a different sort of metabolism, and it's like some things are good for some people, and some things are bad for others. Like the one thing that can't be denied is like gut health is super important, and I think especially in men because they have a lot of problems. Mm. Super important. It is. It is super important to have a healthy gut. I mean, pretty much everything's have... bad for you if it to excess, isn't yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, pretty much everything. Eggs can be bad if you like this is the cholesterol. If you have too many, they can be. They can be bad. But like, wow, I am banning greedy banger now permanently. <laughs> I don't even care. I can't. Oh wow, wow! And that was just before HTK as well. So maybe it isn't HTK. Wow. I, 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 I was watching something on YouTube earlier that said salt is actually good for you, and they said it was bad for you before. Yeah, which... in moderation, but obviously if you have tons of salt, then it's not, isn't it? Yeah, but the issue isn't that salt is good or bad for you, it's that if you have lots of processed food, you're eating way, way, yeah. way too much salt and sugar. So they put tons of salt and sugar in there to hide the fact that they taste like shit. Yeah. Like McDonald's, yeah. Correct. Or anything in a can. Wait, even Budweiser? <laughs> no. I remember the uh, health status of uh, alcohol. So I assume it's bad for you, since alcohol. Yeah, alcohol is just poison, isn't it? Literally. Yeah, yeah it's just a... Oh, uh, great kick for Elliot, part. by the way. Um, you can pick yeah. it up and two plus, two plus it to this guy. So this is looking. Oh, there's a, very, there's a game of Blood Bowl. Yeah, yeah, this is looking <laughs> almost certain Elliot win at this point. Oh, don't say that yet, Jim. He hasn't bloodlusted it's before. Over. It is almost a certain. It is almost certain at this point. He hasn't bloodlusted yet, but it's, at this point, it's an almost certain win. Is the throws already there for the for, like? This kick was just incredible, right? Two, two. Maybe. Okay. He also has the option, of course, giving it to Chain if he wants to, cons like, be really greedy with his rerolls as well. No, there's no, he, there's no. Yeah, way. It's, it's, it's gone straight. The, o the only advantage of giving it to Chain is also just means that you have a bit more flexibility. Yes, how foul, beautiful, yeah, beautiful foul. Yeah. Can Chain? Yeah, Chain still has movement, so just figure out where he wants to go, I guess. Yeah, he's not sure. I mean, obviously, the AG5 vamp is the one. He's the chosen one. Big Jeffrey. Well, yeah, I'm surprised Elliot qualified, not Elliot 2, to be honest. That shocked me. Well, this was his last team, wasn't it? This was number 40, I think. Mm. <clears throat> Medium rares for sticks, not rare. Rare. Or blue. I like blue. <laughs> nah, blue's rough, mate. Like, <laughs> blue is... <gasps> 
does he need to re-roll? I guess because he, he hasn't got the rest of the team up in the position that he had to re-roll that. Yeah, you re-roll. You re-roll anyway because you win in normal times. Oh, he had four re-rolls. You, you're winning in normal times. You're 100% re-rolling. Yeah, it's, you, you might chicken out of the pass and catch now. Yeah. You know, and just oh, are you passing? Why would you pass this turn? Well, you would have done had you had a re-roll because you passed really? him and put him down. Yeah, of course, man. You just, you just have a, you have a strength five, edge five. Watch step. Well, away. like, you but you can down. you can hand it off to him next turn, and that's one less. The last one. You can't. No, you can't because you're two behind him and you're the same speed as him. He doesn't have to go He's for me. for the pass now. Oh, is he? Oh my god. I would. I mean, I would have gone for the pass with a reroll. If I'd had a pass, if I'd had a reroll, I'd have gone for the pass and catch this turn. I think that's obvious to me to go for the pass and catch this turn um, hey, with a reroll. But with a reroll, might and maybe he could have. Uh, maybe he. Maybe he even should have tried to stall it from the turn. I don't know. I would have liked to maybe take this block with the throw now, or do some other stuff to get some more, make some moves before we do this. But probably pretty good. Do you get this extra square to save a GFI? Because you're... No, that one shield is kind of spooky, I guess. Because you got... The Dark Holes are going to have to consider doing a minus 2D. Yeah. Even minus 3 next turn with this with this Reckle. They're going to have to consider it, if not just do it. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, he's already blitzed, so... Yeah, so it puts him up to there, or whatever. Yeah, there. And then this guy double GFIs to go out in front, yeah. Nice pal. Oh, you're really nice. <laughs> you can tag the witch like that doesn't really do anything, does it? Oh, it makes a one in thirty-six for a free win. Yeah, but it doesn't really do anything. Oh. Are you, you sound like you've never rolled a one in thirty-six, Jim. My opponents never have. <laughs> I I seem to remember one specifically on Saturday. Yes, but my opponents never do. That's the thing, right? Bloodlusted. There it is. Just was wondering when that was going to happen. Maybe you go up and you just go up one square above the thrall on the left. Okay, this is also. By the day, play. You go to the left. Don't you? So oh, now right. where, where can Ego go? Go go. I mean, he's, he's, he's got the uphill now. I mean, you just go for the uphill here, don't you? If uh, yeah, which are... it's minus two to minus three. Yeah. Probably have to. You have an edgy five there to recover. Well, you you could you can make it. You could just you could stand that guy up. And it's <laughs> you stand the guy up, don't you? So it's minus two and a minus two. Why did we? Would you reckon? Would you reckon end of turn bolt the witch? Is that mental? Probably. Yeah, because got jump up. So you'd you have to, to get back gambling on the armor break, wouldn't you? And then yeah. If it doesn't work, and worst case scenario, you're in overtime, and and you've you know you've jizzed your whiz away. Jizzed your whiz. Jizzed your whiz. <laughs> so yeah, you, yeah, you stand this guy up and then dodge in for the one, the uphill. Yeah. Uphill and uphill. Push towards the uh, Agi 5 guy to maybe get another hood afterwards as well. No, because it's side step. Uh, uh, so you're going to go up the field. Okay. I've got no idea if that I feel. I mean, I didn't mean literally. No one's ever rolled a one thirty six against me, but he did. I just think you said <laughs> you said literally. Yeah, exactly. Literally means figuratively these days. Oh, does it? Yeah. No. Does, you know. I kind of hate. Okay, we're running the assist. No reason. That's the square. I don't understand why? why on earth you'd do that because, like the, unless he's going to try and surf him. Oh. Oh, sexy boy! Is he gonna try and surf the vampire if he can? Fuck! Does he get in the back end? Well, I don't know. Just a four plus dodge, <laughs> I guess. It's just a four plus dodge. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and, and then the in there, and in there. Yeah, I think his play was to surf the vampire. Maybe. I'm confused. Why is Switch off doing things? Okay, yeah, we're going for the surf. Yeah, this is okay. We're... Yeah, we're going for the surf. Okay. Because I mean, you don't need to, you don't fill this one, do you? You just go there. I mean, then you know you'd have to find both of these. Where's the other witch, though? He did he? Did he fuck up his counting? Why is that line all that line up just ran out of movement there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Now. Oh no! I'm so confused. 
Is he gonna bitch Cheney? And I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, because yeah, if, if you could, you could just change, you could just put somebody in, and okay, you don't serve the van, but you could have just chained him out of range, couldn't you? You could have just literally put this guy, this guy here, and then and then dodge and blitz him, and then push him out of range. Yeah, he misclicked. Yeah, that, that's. I guess that makes sense. Misclick is the only thing that makes sense. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So you just needed. Yeah, that was the idea, right? Yeah, you fill in these three and just push him out of range rather than surf him. Yeah, because the surf was pretty difficult. Because you'd have to fill in both of these, wouldn't you? Yeah, the and one then, around so the back is just ri ridiculous. It's not happening. No, no. I'm... Well, you just, you just fill the one on the bottom right too, right? The one on the bottom right's impossible. So I don't see how you fill the one on the bottom. The these two, like these two are the ones that you fill in. Well, oh, and the you yeah, you yeah, to the bottom right. Yeah, like, yeah. that one's just impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another one as well. The, these it's three and there. these three, yeah, you'd need to fill in six. And then you could serve. I guess if he punches Chaney. Uh, that's actually unlucky. That Because the dodge fail is actually completely fine in that square. If you yeah. had KO'd, you think you'd, you'd, reel, you'd take the KO and you sit there and you have a, a guy who's prone and in the way. Well, he's no, 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 it's not. No, it's oh, not. There's a guy here. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. He's gonna move him. That guy was tagged, maybe it's fine though. Yeah, I guess you have to tag that thrall, then you could have actually just fallen down and been fine to be in that square. It's funny. Yeah, he's, he, he just he just but missed not in, not in Blood Bowl 2020, because you could have jumped over him. Yeah. But now this is what? It, two plus, two plus. Chaney, Chaney blocks to get the guy out of the way. Two plus, two plus, two plus, this is. He goes there, you punch him. Is he, got, he hasn't got sidesteps, so you serve him first. The problem is what? Go there. Yeah, just... no, 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 you want you want the thrall by the end zone, Jim, in case you Yeah, no, I mean, no, the first thing you do is punch him. What the? Why are you turning over the fucking thrall next to the end zone? I just want to punch him and surf him. <laughs> well, you don't need to surf. You won the game, mate. No, I surf yeah, him no. first. Yeah, yeah, you take the surf because if you don't go, if you don't win, you he's, get the, he's got a side. Oh, you're he a streamer. Got... You're a streamer. You need views. You need to surf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why Content. I don't get any views. Content. <laughs> but for I didn't think you go for the surf just because it gives you a shot to. Uh, but now I don't think you can. Oh, we can with the other vampire. One, two, three, four, five. Six. No, you can't. We've got taken geophiles. So no, I'm this this vamp could have gone and 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 gazed him so the chain he could have gone and uh, no, it would be a one D, wouldn't it? Because you, you, you'd want to get oh, rid of this tackle, yes. actually. Oh, no, he's no, chaining the vamp out. Here we go. He's, he's hitting the guard with the other vamp. So yeah, going chaining for the surf was good. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he, he gets rid of a geofire and it also gets him off tackle. Yeah, because it's a sidestep. Yeah, this is great, isn't it? Great stuff from Elliot. Yeah. Clever, clever bastard. Yes, yeah, so this was much better. This is, yeah, because if you surfed him, then you could blitz the witch, right? And then, and then you haven't got tackle. But this is even better because this way... You, you you get rid of the GFI as well as getting off tackles. So yeah, that's way, that's way better than the surf. Fuck off, Jimmy. Well done, Elliot. He's just a two plus away. It's still one GFI. It would have been nice if you had blood losses there just for uh, to finally have the one less blood loss that doesn't matter, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, well done, Elliot. Like a dog. Just diced him, didn't he, really? Yeah. Yeah. Failed all the bloodlust when it didn't matter, and then succeeded them all when it when it did. That's that's how that worked out, definitely. <laughs> wow, we didn't even need the whiz. No, yep, yep. If only you could bank it for the next round. <laughs> Star player eats the eats the MVP, <laughs> but uh, obviously Elliot won't mind about that. To be fair, he only got fifteen AV breaks, which is which is. <laughs> Pretty good as as vampires, isn't it? When like he failed so many, he failed loads of bloodlust, but he didn't didn't mm. injure himself that much off of them. He f Seventy percent bloodlusts. Oof. <laughs> yeah, that is brutal. And there are a couple double ones in there too. Yeah, yeah, that was brutal. But yeah, very entertaining match. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was that was match. two defenses that couldn't stop anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, how on earth? To be fair, how on earth do you stop the the, the vampire? Like, you know, that player can definitely win Chalice by himself, can't he? The problem is, yeah. can he win it by himself? Maybe not. But like, that is a hell of a player for sure. Unbelievable yeah. player. 
Yeah, you can't stop the IG the IG five amp, and you can't really like stop Dark Elf when they have three strength four. So you can't mod like, no, no, we're just gonna walk to wherever we want to go. We're just gonna go right there. Thank you. Two point point touchdown done. There's yeah. no way to stop either team. So there you go. Congrats to Elliot. Commiserations to whoever his opponent was that I've already forgotten. Uh, Raxo. Raxo, yeah, dirty Raxo, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I knew that. I knew that. Dirty Raxo. On Twitch, he is Raxo in the game, isn't he? Um, thank you very much, Dimmy and Scroll. Absolutely glorious. No problem. Yeah, no worries. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.